I, I wonder what you think of how we've regulated these products as a country really since the beginning uh, and, and allowed them to grow so quickly. Yeah, I think in this case, uh, the science has moved forward very quickly. We've seen uh, very fast advances in these devices, powerful devices that can deliver this nicotine very efficiently and very powerfully. And uh, the, the regulatory framework has just simply not kept up. And we're now looking at a public health crisis. Five, five uh, million uh, teenagers uh, who vaped uh, this year, it's, it's just too high. And uh, the, the number has doubled in the last two years. This is a public health crisis. Nobody could have seen it five years ago, but it's happening now. Yeah, the science moved quickly. Of course, um, uh, advocates of the industry would say, look, we're trying to help people quit smoking. And we know that's uh, the biggest killer of the American population, or land next to heart disease, perhaps. Um, I mean, what happens? Are you worried about the category going away? Well, uh, so on the subject of quitting smoking, uh, my former company, Pharmacia, was the innovator in the nicotine gum and patch. The brand name was Nicorette. But we came in through the front door. We applied to the FDA. We got it approved in a proper manner. And the nicotine was delivered very gradually into the bloodstream. It was not a hit. So I would just recommend that if this truly is a helpful aid to quit smoking, that they should be invited to uh, do the research and then to file their application with the FDA and to get a lawful approval to be a help to quit smoking. Uh, I think the problem we're seeing right now is that these devices are allowing a large amount of nicotine to be hit very hard, very quickly. And as we know, nicotine is a very powerful and addictive substance. Some people say yeah. it's more powerful than cocaine. Yeah, I, I, you know, Fred, I know you mentioned that the regulatory framework didn't keep up uh, with the market. I wonder what you think of government reaction so far. Have the right steps been taken? Have enough steps been taken? I think some reactions are occurring, uh, but, but what we need is uh, the Congress to come together, bipartisan, bicameral manner, just deal with this directly. This is not a partisan issue, and give the FDA the support to do its science. The FDA already recognizes that nicotine is an addictive substance. So if uh, all these e-cigarettes that are flavored, they clearly are an invitation to recreation, so they should be banned. And also, why not try to also encourage more counseling for the mothers and the fathers of the children? Have them talk to the nine-year-olds and tell them, don't, don't take on the peer pressure from school. This is not going to be good for you. I was hoping we'd be seeing this Gen Z be free of nicotine, and it's really mm. disappointing that we're seeing a problem these days. Fred, this has got me worried about what else uh, regulators maybe haven't checked or spent enough time on. You know, th there's this whole warm tobacco or, or, or whatever you call it that the industry is saying, uh, surely it's got to be safer than cigarette smoking. Well, is it really? H have enough tests been done on this stuff before it's been released uh, to the public under whatever marketing scheme the companies have? There is no question that smoking is uh, very dangerous. 35% of cancers are linked to smoking. Smoking is bad. This thing requires a lot more experience and a lot more data and a lot more people willing to invest in the R&D required to understand these things. What I am concerned about is the very fast move through very powerful marketing tools, virtual viral marketing, to get to the younger people in this manner and, and to, to get them onto the product. Let's learn more. If it does good things like Nicorette gum, then let's do more of this. But right now, all it gives you is a very powerful nicotine hit. Finally, Fred, you know, uh, the company probably expected some regulatory risk in the States, but I wonder what you make of India and China uh, and the, the idea that maybe those international uh, gold mines are lost. Well, they, they're also clamping down, obviously. Uh, this is a, a global problem, and nicotine addiction is an issue around the world. People are seeing the data. In fact, the U.S. and U.K. are more free for uh, 
products of this type than many other countries. And I really think it has to be stopped before it becomes a real problem. Getting the young people onto nicotine uh, is a real issue because nicotine is such a powerful addictive substance.